Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 here in Sanctuary Hills, having done a little bit of gun upgrading at the very end of the final part. So yes, I now have some much better guns indeed. I particularly like my new uh, my new shotgun. That's very good. Dog meat found something. You're in Sanctuary Hills. Wouldn't you have found here that you didn't find previously? What are you going for, boy? A 10 millimeter pistol. Where on earth did you get that from? I don't know where he just got that from, but all right, you know what? Thank you very much, boy. I will gladly take that. So I think now we've got some better weapons. It's time to float further south of that settlement that uh, Preston Garvey mentioned to me. Though I think it also said at the end of the last part, he could now be my companion. So let's see how uh, let's see how the companions work in this game. Am I allowed to take the dog and Preston with me simultaneously, or is it only one? Because I think I read it was only one, yeah. but does the dog count? <clears throat> Follow me, Preston. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. So now do I have Preston and the dog? Or is the dog decided he's going to hang out here? Uh, send dog meat to... No, it's only one. It's Preston or dog meat. Uh, who do I want to go with then? Uh, cancel in that key. Oh. The dog just went to red. No, dog, no. no dog, no. Boy? Dog, 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 dog. No, dog. Uh, did you, the dog, dog, no dog. Oh God, you speak to a character that's midway to travelling to a new settlement. Ah, uh, this happens. The camera stays with the dog. Let's go, boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Uh, meaning Preston Garvey can go to Sanctuary Hills. Uh, yes, confirm. Uh, Preston is going to confirm travel. All right, he's going back there. Where's the dog now? Hello? Dog meat! There he is! Ah, but apparently I've got a levelling up to do. I'd forgotten I had to do that at the beginning of this part. Alright, let's do some levelling up then. You know what? We passed a terminal back in Lexington. Let's take a rank of hacker just so we can get in there. Beautiful. And here we are back at Lexington indeed. Now I've brought my shotgun with me as I feel like, you know what? We're possibly going up against ghouls if anything is still in this whole area. Now I just need to see if I can find my way back to the, yeah, find my way back to that flipping terminal wherever it was. Now, the Raiders should have been cleared out by now, so screwdriver, sure, bit of extra. wonder if that provides, if that provides nothing other than steel, I shouldn't be picking up screwdrivers. That's not that useful to me, but uh, I may have to keep an eye on that. Ooh, little uh, area. Ooh, a bank. Now, the bank is where we kept money pre-war. Yes, this is exactly the place to go for money. And would you believe the bank looks like it's locked with a terminal? How flipping perfect is this? All right, door has been opened, but mysteriously, looks like, oops, the dog has just thrown himself off a cliff there. Take the pre-war money, and it looks like this woman had already decided to break into this. Oh, it looks like there was a bank robbery actually happening at the exact moment the bombs fell. They were actually loading up the car. At this exact moment, they'd blown a hole in the wall somehow. They'd got the ladder up. They were already kind of getting the money out. But the bombs fell and these guys were killed before they could take it. Ooh, pre-war money, 100! <gasps> Look at that, right. Okay, there's a duffel bag of 100 pre-war money at the back of the bank in Lexington. That is well worth going to get your hands on. Beautiful. Ah, and I found that terminal I was looking for too, just around the corner from the bank. Same rules as ever applied, by the way. Kind of just look over the options that are available to you and see if you can spot uh, patterns. So, for example, in this particular set, I can see there's morning, but there's also opening and doting further down. So if I get, like, a fairly good match for morning, I'll know it ends in ing. So likeness is two. So therefore, I know all the ones that begin with ing, it can't possibly be. At that point, uh, broadly, I just kind of, like eyeball it a little bit like worship could be because that does have two in common the um the o and the r but none of the others but i'm just kind of eyeballing it there door is opened and that gets me into an advanced safe thank goodness i took lock pick okay this better be something damn good because i need to have taken two separate perks to get into this here safe that ah, got it first time it was a nice neutral position so little bit of ammo little bit of uh, yeah more ammo money shotgun shells that's a bit disappointing game. But I guess you get a proper 10mm pistol out of it. The thing is, like, the pipe weaponry, when you break them down, even with scrapper, you tend not to get anything but a bit of steel. Um, like, 
proper pre-war weapons like 10mm you tend to get screws out of and they don't weigh much so it's probably worth it anyway so yeah okay fine i'll take that that's not too bad hello dead ghoul did i bother clearing you out i did as well lovely you know, I did notice on my map as well that the Super Duper Mart is considered a separate, unique area. So, I'm going to go in here and explore. Oh, wait, hang on. Are these all... <gasps> Mr. Handy Fuel, that is really good scrap. That, like, gives you loads of stuff. So, yeah, that contains steel, but also two oil. Oil is not the hardest component to come by, but it's all right. The silver locket is silver. I'm not sure what I'm even using silver for, but that's fine. And, yeah, I'm going to stop picking up screwdrivers, because screwdrivers being only worth steel and wood. I've got a ton of steel and wood, because if you break down structures in settlements, you get loads of steel and wood. So, don't you worry about that stuff. And I could break down money for cloth if I wanted to, but that's probably the worst possible idea for how to deal with money. Right, into the Super Duper Mart, where I'm guessing there's going to be plenty more ghouls. So, shotgun ready. Ah, but as is almost traditional, there is in fact a, uh, a little kind of helper robot here we might be able to find a way to activate. Uh, now, where is his... Where's his thing? I need to find a terminal for turning on this old thing. Let's start off by going into this area at the back here with the, uh, the cashier. The kind of the staff only areas seem like an excellent place to start for that sort of thing. So research, what is it with the research test tubes? That wasn't an item in Fallout 3, but it's showing up all over the shop here and in areas where there's ghouls. I feel like there's, there's some sort of like plot here that I'm kind of haven't found yet, but ah, this is just the thing. One, a safe. Some ammo, some money, some shotgun shells, silver tablespoon. Eh, not terrible. And a terminal I can presume you to turn on the robot. Beautiful. Ah, lucky first guess as well. Oh, I could have opened the safe from that. But protector on control. Uh, choose the personality mode. Now, I'm really curious. Um, I turned on Subway Stewart, and it went all right, right up to the point where the thing started attacking me as well, even though I had a flipping ticket. So, hmm... I guess I'll say law enforcement. I mean, I'm guessing I'm... I hope I'm allowed to be here. I'll kill it if not. This will be a useful test. Let, let's turn it on to law enforcement and see how that goes. So, activate the unit. Dog. No, stay away from the robot, dog. Stay away from the robot, alright? The robot's going to be our friend. What is it, is it? Let's find out if it's going to be our friend. Rad right away! Nice, and a glass bowl. That could be useful. Are we friends? Hello? I'm a shopper. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely loyal to Super Protect Duper Mart. And Protect and serve. Good. Okay, he's not attacking. This is excellently good news. He is just on uh, Protect Duty. Ooh, gold watch. Nice. That's got springs in it. That's useful scrap. Oh, we got ourselves some ghouls. Excellent news. Now, got ourselves some ghouls. Retreat to the Protectron. Wait, where's the Protectron gone? Protectron? I feel like I'm not being Protectroned right now. Oh, he's over there. Oh, good. They don't, even the way, like, they wake up when you go near them, that doesn't necessarily mean they go, um, after you. So I'm hidden, and he'll start attacking the ghouls. And how, how good is he at taking them out? Doesn't seem like very. Let's help him out a bit. Okay, and now, because I've opened fire, am I now going to be... No, I'm not hostile, just because I opened fire. Good. Uh, as long as I don't accidentally hit him, we should be all right. Aluminium can always need more aluminium. Silver fork. I've got a load of silver. Now, first, as soon as I actually need to craft something silver, we should be A-OK. -okay. Let's go into the back room. This will be where they keep the good stuff, I'm guessing. Hello! Yep, I think my new shotgun to now take care of zombies, as long as there's only one of them, though. I've got to be careful I don't get swarmed, which is kind of what the new style zombies do do. Ah, now, this is what we've... Uh-oh. I'm in caution. I'm in caution. Normally when you're in caution... Ah, over here somewhere. Is something causing a fight with these guys? Hello. Where's the robot? Robot? Oi, oi. Hello. No, I'm over... <laughs> he hasn't even... He... I'm supposed to be in danger, but he's not even seen me yet now. Uh, yeah, you can die to a shotgun blast. Boom. If I had a drama, I really could have, like, flipped that person over my head as they kind of fell in towards me. That would have been good out of drama there. Right, I may just kind of stick close to this guy and let him activate the things. Oh, like the old Super Duper Marts. Check the cash registers. Some of them might have money in them and everything. Uh, oh, no, they don't anymore. They used to. That's Oh, that one did. Beautiful. Lovely. And some rat poison. And a cat bowl. Are there cats in this game? There never used to be cats in this game. And he's 
Nice. Utterly nailed that guy. That was just a feral, though, and it took him several shots, which suggests to me he's not that powerful. Got a feral ghoul down there. That's all right, as he's kind of down on the ground. I like the new system, by the way. They're lying on the ground, but with vats, you can identify which ones are about to pop up, and you can use that to kind of cap them before they actually get up properly. I think that's actually quite a nice little balance. And then, yeah, you see, I completely missed that one. Right. Oh, flipping heck. There's now several of them. Uh, luckily, this one's... They're not very good at working around the scenery, so that's not too bad. I'm really confused by the dog, by the way. There's like a perk I can take that specifically says dog meat will kind of grab enemies and hold them in place so you can get better, like, shots at them. He sort of seems to do that anyway, even though I haven't taken the perk yet. I swear he just does that. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you've taken the perk or not. Like... I mean, it says so you can take better VAT shots at their heads, which he hasn't actually done yet. So I guess maybe he holds them in place right now, but I don't get the VAT's accuracy bonus. I'm not quite sure how that works. Ah, I've just found something very useful, which is the hot plate has both circuitry times two and copper and a screw in it. Meaning hot plates are incredibly valuable scrap, and I will now be seeking those out like crazy. Every time I find a hot plate, I will definitely be taking that. Hot plates are very valuable in that case. And I think we've just found one of the uh, the old Minutemen here. So he's got some bottle caps on him, some razor grass, some leather stuff, flannel shirt and jeans. Well, maybe you should have worn some better stuff. Scattered laser musket. Ooh, and some Radex. Very nice. Was he worried he might be turning into a ghoul by any chance? Could have been. Maybe this guy was the guy that killed him. Given. Oh, hello. Are you dealing with someone? Yes, you are. Not anymore. You're not. Now we're fine. Ooh, and we've even found some ammo and stuff in the back. Dog! No! Stop getting in the way of the looting! Damn it! Few yeah, he had a load of fusion cells. That's really good. And a first aid kit, too. Oh, I am happy. Oh, and interestingly, the uh, the Protectron went down pretty easy. They don't seem that tough, to be honest. Um, oh. I heard some drama music there. I was thinking, why is there drama music? <laughs> is the drama music supposed to be telling me something? Uh, okay, right, well, let's get looting. Well, I haven't, like, found, like, the area I consider, like, the back room. Ooh, employees only. Well, I was just saying, I haven't found the area I consider the back room yet. Here it is. The dog is already behind the locked door. Dog, would you like to explain to me how you just did that? Because that feels dubious to me. How did you just get in here? That it's... <laughs> there, I, uh, there I go. So damn, feeling so damn smug about kind of sneaking through a locked door and finding the employee's area, and the dog has just found his way in regardless. There's a safe back here, but sadly an expert one, so nothing much I can do with that for the minute. Chemistry station, don't think I need anything there. Are you about to get up? Nope, I can loot you, which means you're not. You might be- Oh, some of you are though! Yeah, okay, hello! Oh, yeah. Take a shot. He goes down. Dog me. I think there might be another one about to get up, but is he about to get up? Oh, no. Dog me. I think you finished him off. Well done, boy. Who's a good zombie slaying dog? Yeah, this is a really, this is kind of a very different way that enemies act in this game. Not only do like mole rats and stuff pop out of the ground all the time, but um, ghouls kind of just crawl through windows and pop out of containers all the time too. So the sniper, though it's still a ridiculously powerful kind of character and it is it's a really ridiculously powerful character still in fact like more than fallout 3 more like fallout new vegas um thank you oh hello you see look at that where do you bloody just come from shotgun to the head for you uh do you just yeah he just kind of he just fell in through the window so the sniper is now like more like new vegas than it ever was in fallout 3 it's very very powerful but that does also kind of but it has the problem that lo loads of enemies you can't snipe at because they don't show up <laughs> One was eating sugar bombs out of the toilet. Little spoon left on the rim there. That is... That's lovely and charming, isn't it? I'm very happy with that. Ooh, a carrot. Good, we can use that to grow some carrots somewhere later. Hello. Oh, you almost... Well, you kind of did sneak up on me. Uh, actually, how much damage did I just take from that swing? Does, is Vat's defense... I think Vat's defense is not so much of a thing anymore. Because I was just in Vat's when he just kind of hit me. Ooh, fusion core. Hell yeah. I will help myself to a fusion core. Thank you. Oh, we got a sleeping one over there. There we are. Screw you. 
By the way, I've got a, I've got a new kind of aiming sight for this gun, uh, my 10mm. Uh, it's got almost no ammo, so I should really stop using it. But uh, yeah, I've got a new kind of little scope for it. Dog, was that you or was that a zombie? That was you, fine. That, however, was a zombie. I recognise the noise. And you. Screw you all. Yeah, this is a powerful old uh, shotgun, by the way. Yeah, hardened double-barreled shotgun. And because it's a non-automatic rifle, I'm guessing that's getting the benefit from the rifleman perk. So that is damage 67. I've got a lot of ammo for it. So, like, it feels like you get shotgun shells out of a lot of different, uh, a lot of different um, safes, just at random. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure kind of why that is, but that does seem to be the case to me. Oops, something's getting up. Where, who are you? Someone over there. Zombie! Screw you. You can charge as much as you want, but you're in a confined space and I've got a shotgun. The advantage lies with Captain Shotgun right now. Loads of fusion cells here. I should probably get into, like, using some energy weapons, but, uh, ooh. Close-sighted pipe bolt-action pistol. I'll take that purely because it might be useful in terms of uh, when I break it down. And another flipping minute man, Josh's Hollow Tape. Together with a nut fruit, leather chest piece, none of the rest of it's worth bothering with. Uh, I'll take you short laser musket. And we got a ghoul coming in. Hello. Screw you. And again. And finally, there's a little basement down here, down from where I got the fusion core, which I think I just want to quickly kind of have a little looksy at. See if there's anything good in here. What's this? Commonwealth. Oh. Downstairs in the Commonwealth. All right. Where does this go? I am in a. Oh, just a little employee garage, I'm guessing. And who are you? Emma's holotape. Oh, hello. You're a zombie. Oh, screw you. Uh, the dog's got him. He'll finish him off. The dog can definitely do damage, just not very much. Okay, yeah, it's, it's fine. So, yeah, it looks like a Minutemen tried to take back this whole area, but really didn't do very well at it. Now, let's have a look at some of these items. I'm going to get a bit more discerning about what junk I start taking. So, I'm going to start, like, always scan junk if you're not sure what it actually is or what it's giving you. So a fuse gives me copper and glass, which is not bad. I would have liked to have a bit of a circuitry in there, but never mind. Like, a gas canister actually isn't giving me anything but steel and oil. Oil's all right, but not great. Glass is... I don't use glass much yet, but I probably will in future. Gears and springs is good, so watches you want to keep hold of. Hot plate is brilliant. I could break down... Interesting, I could break down cigarettes for asbestos. That is very interesting. Paintbrush is just cloth. Cloth is like for mainly for armor crafting, just like improving the energy and radiation resistance of the thing you're wearing underneath. So I could do that, but it's not like urgent now. Bit more. Oh, that's how much my 10 millimeter. That's the best thing. And you have some more of that. And oh, an explorer outfit. Is that actually an under thing or is that an actual outfit? Oh, you were female, apparently. No, an explorer outfit is. Oh, an explorer outfit's dreadful. That's dreadful. It's only got like a weight to value ratio of 3x, which is really poor. And you can't wear any of your leather stuff over the top of it. One damage resistance, no energy resistance. That's awful. Yeah, you can go away. I don't like you. That's that's a real... No wonder you flipping died to ghouls. You showed up with something bloody awful. Right, let's crack open the door and get out of here. There we are. Doors unlocked. So where does that bring me out now? That brings me out... Ooh, there's some raider scum up there apparently. Uh, quite a distance away. What are you? Hello? Ooh. Is that is that the top of his head? That's totally the top of his head. That's the best news. Hold my breath. And... So long, friend. Ooh, that didn't even flipping kill him. Wow, you are pretty tough. I need to start thinking about ninja. Uh, right, I'm in caution right now. There we are, he's dead. Still in caution, mind. Does that mean someone else is up on that roof too? The compass works really weirdly. So, like, once you're in caution, it's generally pretty good at telling you where you're supposed to be looking. Uh, but until you go into caution, it's really, really bad. Um, unless you've got, like, a recon scope, which I'm going to kind of try and get to as soon as possible. But I need, like, two ranks of gun nuts, so that means it's locked to, I think it's level 13. So, ooh, they're down on the ground. Two folks were down on the ground in that direction. Vats can't find them. But yeah, Vats is a much better way of finding people than compass markers, which I guess was always kind of the case, but I'd say it's a lot more severe now than it ever really used to be. Alright, fine. We've definitely still got a few raiders in this area then. Gotta be a little careful yet. 
And I just got to find my way up to where... Oh, caution. Caution. Aha! You can get shot in the back repeatedly with my very good pistol. And that, I think, was you dead, isn't it? Yep. There you go. Didn't fall off mine. Still got plenty of raiders in this area. Blimey. Right, you know, I think we might be able to get pretty close to them. So I'm going to go have a shotgun. Open this here door. And, oh, was that a turret? There we are. Not anymore, it's not. Got some Psycho on buff out yet. I may well kind of have to start using Psycho at some point. Like, in Fallout 3, it was very much optional. You could be quite, I think you could be, like, easily strong enough to never need to use buff out. But it was just, like, a nice extra. Just an extra bit ton of to damage. I'm not sure, like, how much, like... If the enemies in this game get really, really hard, then you're going to have to take every advantage that you can possibly take. And that might include just saying, you know what, under all circumstances, I expect to be using drugs. Whenever I'm under fire, I expect to be using drugs. And that means I'll have to take perks like uh, chem resistant to avoid addiction. Because I haven't run into a single trader or doctor yet. So if I get addicted, I'm not sure... Darn. I'm not sure what I'd actually do to get rid of the addiction. Now, can I get back up here? Uh, come on. Come on. On dog meat found an enemy. Did he? Where? Oh, you found a flipping turret. Well done. No, I just had a thought actually. That stuff I'm picking up off these guys, is that actually a good source of circuitry rather than anything else? Because if that's a good source of circuitry, that could be really valuable to me. Yes, the enhanced targeting card has two sets of circuitry in it. That's just what I need a lot of the time. And the military grade circuit for circuitry times five each. Oh, all right. Now, now I am a happy camper. Lovely. Now let's crack up. Oh, expert. Blimey. All right. Tough safe than I'm expecting. You know what? I think we're done with Lexington now. We've cleared out like the super duper mark and killed a load of raiders. Let's head further south to where we're actually supposed to be going. Can I also just say how thrilled I am that most things in this game now, like, don't have load zones? Like, big internal areas have to have load zones, but loads of little buildings don't, so they actually have proper windows. Like, it just makes the world feel so much better and more well-connected to me, at least. I love it. Now, round the side of the factory. That's a beautiful factory, by the way. That's just gorgeous. Uh, the military signal. Actually, you know what? This came up as a little quest, too. The game was saying I ought to listen to this little quest, uh, which if it's a really short, easy quest, like, oh, is that ghouls? That's ghouls. Hello. You're dead, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. Then we've got more ghouls coming out of the door. Uh, a few more yet coming downstairs between the dog and the shotgun. Yeah, that's right. You just all funnel through this here door. This is going to work out well for you. Well, that's a Roma, but the, dog, the dog's got hold of him. So we can get in close for a headshot. Yep, beautiful. I like the dog. The dog and me work together pretty well, I think. We're a good team. But as you were saying, let's have a listen to that radio frequency, see if it sounds nice and simple. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Okay, so where's this Cambridge police station? Is that actually uh, on my map? Yes, it is indeed literally just pretty much directly en route to the Oberland station I was going to anyway. So uh, that seems like a reasonable thing to do. I think we can stop there on the way in. Sorry, this is this is the way flipping Fallout goes. I just kind of, you know, find a little quest, decide I'm going to go and join in. So yes, the Cambridge police station, this seems like probably... As this was just a little quest, I picked up off a... Uh, Oh, they have glowing eyes now. Blimey, they do, they are... Yeah, the, the ghouls have been really redesigned. Like, I actually quite like their redesign. I, I like... Not that I didn't like the old one. I think they're both really good designs. But, like, I have no problem with the new design at all. Now, I'll just kind of keep hidden. Head into this and... Uh, in a moment, we'll presumably hear what's going on. Is it the well-lit-up building by any chance? Are you going to be... Uh, is it going to be the ridiculously well-lit-up building? Is that kind of the uh, what's going on here? Ooh, Hello. What's that? Feral ghouls. All right, fine. Dog, don't worry. Oh, 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 Flip. There was a mine there. I don't have any arms anymore. So using a stim pack's got, like, my limbs back up and going at least, but they're now in kind of a bit difficult shape. So now I'm actually kind of curious as to... I can't see a way to apply stim pack to an individual limb, so I'm not sure I can even actually do that. So uh, never mind, eh? 
All right, fine. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, murdering zombies. Do 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 I've shot your legs out, but you're still coming. That's uh interesting of you. You see, look at the look at the range you've got in this game. Seventy percent chance to hit at that range. Well, my perception is not that high. That feels really aggressive to me. I'm just gonna. Check around for more. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly check around for more. Okay, and you're going to die. Anyone else? Yeah, more frag mines. Oh, uh, dear. I don't like that one bit. Oh, he just walked into a frag mine. Well, frag mines are not all bad then, are they? Right, we got one more who's definitely kind of... What the heck? Where did he come from? He just had a ghoul. just came from space. Actually, that is a good point. Dog, can you go and recover a frag mine? Can you actually disarm a, a frag mine for me? No. The, not the feral ghoul. The, all right, fine. Never mind. He can't, looks like he can't do that. Hello, you're going to die now. Or come very close to. You are a Roma, so I'm glad I got a sneak attack critical on you. Uh, frag mine is there. No dog, no. No dog. Oh, flipping. Heck, that. Bats didn't even see that one. Right, let's get that mine quickly. There we are, got that. The dog's going in. The dog is the dog wants to be a big damn hero. Both barrels will hopefully sort that guy out. Ooh. One to the legs. Got one upstairs. Oh, flipping hell. Toothbrush. Gotta get a toothbrush. And then we got. Oi! Leave my dog alone, you get. I think he was actually blocking the staircase there so the ghoul couldn't come down and get me. So even in, I'm not, I'm not stim packing him. The battle's over. He'll get up by himself in a second. I don't like the whimpering noise. I'm kind of hardwired to not like dogs whimpering, but you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll survive. Ooh, lightweight girded left leg. Whatever that is, that seems worth doing. So right now my left leg is two damage resistance, five energy. And this is, ooh, four damage resistance and eight energy. And two action points bonus. All right, yeah, I'll totally have that. So what was actually going on here? Because there's people here, but they're all already dead. Um, who are these people? These are, are these raiders? I feel like this is a raider settlement that was overrun by ghouls. So short dog barrel shotgun, yeah, I'll break that down later. Oh, we're already, already over capacity. Good news, dog. You've got some carrying to do. And I can only see one more over there. Uh, way over in that direction, we got ourselves. As oh no, we got two. Uh, oh no, we picked the wrong time to move. Damn it! Screw you. And just take a nice headshot. I think we're in a very strong position to just snipe them off with a glow-sighted pistol. Don't think we need anything more valuable than that. There we are. Oh, flip! There's more coming in though. Uh, how are they? How they're oh, they're not even that bad at navigating past. Uh I'm navigating past lampposts. You're dead. Another two. Yeah, I feel like I've got a good elevated position here. They're not going to be able to do much to me. And if any get too close to kind of passing under me, that's a beautiful. Yeah, this is a fine place to hold out. We can just hold out here and take out all the zombies from up here. Oh, the dogs decided to go get involved down there, though. Right, I'd say at this point we've killed enough of them that we can now kind of pretty safely just head down into this area and explore it properly. We're now only 50 metres away from the police station. I'm going to guess that, uh, in fact, the twist is what we're protecting them from was ghouls all along. And I think we've done a pretty good job doing that, so... All right, feeling good about myself there. Hey, you over there. That's right, you should come over here. I should probably not be using a shotgun right now. I, I need to learn that, that, that this is not a shotgun type situation. Yep, there we are. The dog is nicely holding him in place. One more round here. A lot of ghouls. They really do like being kind of in a big old swarm, don't they? they got one, I think, hiding in here. Hello! Dead. Ah, that gunfire in the distance, I'm guessing, is the police station protecting itself as best it can. So, whoever they are, they've no, not kind of completely dead yet. Oh, but there's also a station. Is this actually a metro system? It is, right. Well, we're not going there just yet. We've got... How did you even get up there? 
Gosh darn it, dog. I see you there, frag mine. I see you there. Don't, you're not fooling me this time. Sounds like we're getting close. Cambridge Police Station, indeed. Ooh, what the heck is that? Paladin? Oh, first actual brotherhood. Blimey, screw you. You okay? Hello. All right, just hang at the back. Let him do most of the work. It feels like he's got a pretty damn good laser rifle here. Get some nice free experience doing all this because we're helping out, so we'll get a share of the XP. There'll be a load of corpses that we'll be able to help out with. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, you're coming after me, mine. Blimey. Uh, you have decided to come for me, haven't you? No, no. This, this, clearly the person that's right next. Get, what? This, yes, this one. Clearly that one. The game got a bit confused as to who I was supposed to be aiming at there. Blimey hack. Um, oh, hello. Dead as well. Also dead. Whew. Blimey, crippled again, mind. I need to find myself a doctor at some point in the future. Oh, no, 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 not you. There you go. Assist the soldiers. Nice. Speak to Paladin Dance. I will do that in just a moment. First, there's some corpses I need to be looting. Did these guys come to assist the police or are the police all long gone and basically I'm just helping out the Brotherhood here? Because if I'm happy to help out the Brotherhood. That's fun. That's fine. Oh, what the... He was totally not fussed by the fact that a small nuclear detonation just occurred over there. The nice thing about ghouls is I've noticed like they have a higher than typical chance of having stuff like watchers on them. Which is really useful because watchers have like gears and springs and stuff. Which is not the most common thing to uh, to get. So it's kind of nice that uh, yeah, ghouls are good enemies to kill. They're pretty easy to kill and you can get some really good old stuff out of them. And a Brotherhood of Steel holotag. Oh, and uh, my first laser rifle with some Brotherhood Fatigues. Now that could be a good under thing, if that's what that is. I'm guessing Brotherhood Fatigues will be like, in the same way that Military Fatigues is, a thing that you can slip underneath your basic, uh, slip underneath your basic armor. And that will be much better than what I've got. Oh, hello. You all right, Paladin Dance? I feel like I should have shown up in my own armor. You just kind of, I feel a bit, feel a bit underwhelming bit underwhelming when I'm kind of shown up like this. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to just ch change into some of your stuff now and see if it's any better. So the military fatigue's giving me nothing but five energy resistance but two agility. The brotherhood fatigues would give me actually ten across the board but mean I can't wear anything else. That's interesting because right now, actually yeah, right now I've got 11 damage resistance and 34 energy resistance. You can see it down there. But um, if I were to change into the Brotherhood Fatigues, because that means I can't wear leather stuff over the top, I'd lose, like, all my energy resistance. But I gain a bit of rad resistance. No, you know what? I'll, I think I'll kind of keep that for now. I'm happy with my kind of current... Uh, I'm happy with my current loadout because I get the extra agility as well. That kind of what... Uh, that's what decides it for me. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh, my business sarcastic, who are you? Oh, I, I heard your radio signal and responded. I'm surprised that's actually not a, uh, I'm surprised that's not really an option. Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. Um, there was a, there was a radio signal. There was a radio signal. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Why the questions? Now, this is a good thing to test. Like, can I actually pass an orange one at all? Or is it just locked because I don't have charisma high enough? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now, where are you from? Sanctuary Hills, nowhere. Vault 111. Let's not expose Sanctuary Hills yet. I don't know whether the Brotherhood are going to be the good guys in this game. Let's just say Vault 111 for I'm now. From Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Who are you really? You're, you're doomed. Let me help. Let's, I'm just going to keep trying the orange one to see if any of them pass. If this one fails again, I'm basically going to just assume that orange is locked against me until I either take more charisma or I take um, Black Widow and I'm speaking to a guy character because that improves chance of speech success too. For a reason? That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. 
Ah! You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yeah, I think so, but let's hear your version of who the Brotherhood of Steel are, because their mission really varies area to area. And we're on the East Coast. Last time we were on the East Coast with the Brotherhood of Steel in Fallout 3, they were kind of very much for helping the locals, getting involved in local problems, whereas the West Coast Brotherhood are much more about, you know, isolationism, keeping technology locked away yeah, from people, right. stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to see what his version of events is. Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. It's power. It's meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Okay, that's kind of halfway to the West Coast stuff, but like not quite as hardcore. He said he hasn't called me savage yet, which is nice. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Now, it's very interesting he just mentioned that biologically uh, engineered plagues. I'm wondering if, like, all the research test tubes on the ghouls might be kind of playing into that at all. That would be very, very interesting. I think that's a noble cause. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Yes, sure, why not? No time. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's All right, free stuff. I like it already. And I just saw there, of course, we've actually apparently completed that quest. Either we'd have to go and do the rest of it, yeah. But apparently, we've, uh, yeah, I, I like it. The quests are kind of shorter, so you get experience more often. And like Fallout New Vegas, there's loads of little quests, like the one I found in the quarry. Not like Fallout 3, where there's relatively few quests and loads of unmarked quests. I like it. I like the fact that, like New Vegas, there's loads of little quests all over the place. You can just get tons of little experience. I mean, this is, I think, kind of how you level up incredibly quickly in this game, which is why, of course, there's no level cap, and in general, you're expected to end up at a higher level than you probably would to do otherwise. Ooh, inactive distress pulsar. Whatever one of them is, I feel like that's got some good loot in it. Oh, yeah, circuitry and nuclear material. That's beautiful. Now, let's do some leveling up, as I've got two lots of leveling up to flipping do. I'll tell you what I love about the new perk system, which is back in Fallout 3, when you were like, you know, in the low levels, there were plenty of levels where there just wasn't that much that was good to take. You were like waiting for like a couple of levels time when an actual good perk would become available. This time there's so many perks I want to take straight away. It's beautiful that like, you know, really actually it's kind of agonizing to pick a perk when it used to be so easy back in Fallout 3. You know what? I'm going to take the second rank of Steak because flipping heck, I've run into two mines just this part. So yes, I'm going to take the equivalent of uh, I'm going to take the equivalent of Light Step for this game. Oh wait, no, I don't get Light Step. Yeah, I didn't just take that at all. Uh, so it's just floor-based traps, which is like trip-wise. I actually need uh, the next rank to be uh, not tripping mines. Oh well, never mind. That's a useful thing to have anyway. And I think I'll take the second rank of Rifleman as well. Yes, there we go. And now, my rifle is not only 40% more powerful, but are ignoring 15% of a target's armor. Beautiful. And that, of course, puts my sniper rifle up to 71 damage, which I think is a very good position to be in. And my lovely revolver rifle at 42. Alright, we're in very good shape in that case. I like that thing more and more. And we've got a personal log here. Let's see if we can learn anything about the Brotherhood. Field scribe Halen, personal log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. 
Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Okay, so that's very interesting. It seems like this Brotherhood is, yeah, pretty kind of prone to using some slightly... Wait, what was that? Is that a thi No, I thought I saw a thing on the back there. Uh, so yes, it does seem like potentially there is, uh, there is a fact that the Brotherhood here could be using some slightly dubious methods. Could be a bit aggressive, but hopefully should be okay. I think we're alright for the minute with them, but we'll keep an eye on them because uh, it's been clearly flagged right away. Not everyone is 100% happy with uh, the way the Brotherhood operates, not even the Brotherhood themselves. But you know what, I think I'll finish looting this place now and then we will probably join it with the Brotherhood tomorrow and we will do a little bit more work with them. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John Spin, many a true nerd, and this has been the always delightful Fallout 4. Thank you very much and goodbye. And once he's nice and high, Caden, if you'd be so kind, and off he goes into space. Oh, you exploded. That's a shame. Yeah, you're going straight in. I don't... Oh, <laughs> oh that was a good one. Sloop. Thank you.